Interesting question. Suddenly everyone around started switching from Windows to Linux. Many people say that Linux is more free, that it's easier to customize. Others say it doesn't have dump useless programs that would spy on you. Yeah, Linux really works much better than Windows. And even on the hardware from 2010, you can install Linux and not worry about it lagging. So it turns out that in our time, Linux become a salvation from evil corporations like Microsoft, who got greedy and don't make good stuff like they used to anymore, or at least that's what people say. Fuck Microsoft! Today, in this video, we are going to talk about where this cute little penguin came from, why it's taking over more and more people's minds, and what Valve has to do with it, with their new Steam OS that's been getting a lot of hype lately. Let's find out. Okay, let's start with the fact that Linux as an operating system has existed for a long time. It's a free alternative to Unix, which used to be closed and expensive. It was made by this guy. His name is Linus Torvalds. Yeah, the dude literally named the OS after himself. So basically, Linux is the kernel of the OS, not the OS itself. But things like Ubuntu, Arch, okay, never heard of them? Fine, what about Steam OS? Well, those are the builds made around the kernel, and all that is what we call an OS. And you know, my comrade, I honestly think every operating system should have a built-in feature to bring back files you deleted, even after you emptied the trash. Why? Because just recently I accidentally deleted a very interesting video. It was gone completely, but then I found any recover and it saved me. Now I don't have to worry about losing important files because of a dump mistake or just being careless. Any recover is a powerful recovery tool that can bring back your deleted files from recycle bin, hard drives, SSDs, USB sticks, SD cards, and even Android devices. Photos, videos, documents, emails, whatever you lost, you can recover it all in one click. Yeah, they even have AI that can repair broke or low quality photos and videos. Download any recover using the link in the description and don't forget about the fear of losing your files forever. It works on Windows, Mac OS, Android, and even on iOS. So no matter what device you are using, any recover has your back. <laughs> So why did this Linux of yours become popular and more and more people use it? Easy, Linux is free. And we are humans, we always love free stuff. I'm sure every second person on my channel would rather play for free than spend money on some pixels. But you know what? Linux didn't just get attention because it's free and doesn't have tons of garbage ads and spying apps like on Windows or Mac. It's also open source, which means anyone can customize Linux for themselves. And the change it however they want. And you know, that's actually a huge motivator. I've noticed it myself, I really enjoy when I can customize something just for me. No matter what it is, blad. And the Linux works the same way, Yopta. It's so nice that you can make it look and work however you want, without worrying about limits. For regular users, maybe this doesn't matter much, but for those who want more freedom, it's perfect. With Linux, you have full control over your system. You can literally remove or add anything you want. They there are dozens of different distributions for different needs. If you are a beginner, Ubuntu or Mint are great. If you are a geek, Arch or Ginto are the real deal. And my favorite thing, you can make Linux look like any interface you want. Want it to look like macOS? Easy. Like Windows XP? No problem. And the most important and the coolest part, no forced updates, blad, that can break your drivers. A lot of people switch to Linux because after the Windows 11 updates, everything just went down hill. The classic interface got messed up. They forced Cortana on you, which honestly I never needed. Annoying OneDrive that's a whole quest to disable. And a buggy Microsoft Store that sometimes just refuses to download apps. And don't even get me started on ads and the data collection. But hey, that's obviously not the only reason people are switching, right? You know, there is the thing called SteamOS, which is basically Linux, but based on Arch Linux. Valve has been throwing millions of dollars into developing this project, and the Steam Deck proved it works amazingly well. Yeah, if you don't know, the Steam Deck is a portable console that runs on its own custom system. Made to work super efficiently. I am sure many of you have seen YouTube videos or at least memes about how games run way better on Linux, and the 
this TeamOS. And you know what? That's 100% true, probably. I mean, isn't it awesome when you can get 10 or 15% more FPS without upgrading your PC? And without spending a single cent? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So how does this magic work? Well, it's actually pretty simple, maybe. First of all, less background stuff. There are no heavy Windows services like Defender, Telemetry or dozens of auto start programs. Second, a lighter kernel. The Linux kernel can be optimized for low latency, which reduces input lag. Short, fewer task switches. The system doesn't waste CPU power on tons of small background processes, so your frame time stays stable. And finally, Vulkan optimization. Proton and the many Linux games use Vulkan, which can be more efficient than DirectX 11 or 12 in certain situations. Wait, dude, what the heck is Proton? Alright, let me explain my comrade. Proton is basically a compatibility tool created by Valve that lets you run Windows-only games on Linux without any complicated setup. It's built into Steam, by the way, so if you enable it in the settings, you can just install and play most of your Windows games like normal. Man, I hope I didn't overload your brain with too much smart stuff, and if you didn't understand a single thing I just said, that's totally fine. You know that joke about running a toaster on Linux? Well, it's not even a joke. Linux actually supports really old hardware. Even on a 15-year-old PC, you can install a simple distro like Lubuntu or Puppy Linux and not worry about it lagging. For many people, that's a strong argument. I mean, sorry, not everyone has a PC with an RTX 6090 and some Ryzen 7 6900 Max, so it's much easier for them to just install something that works without problems. Security and the privacy? Those are two things Windows could definitely learn from Linux. Seriously, on Linux there are almost no viruses. Why? Because the system works differently, and the hackers are basically too lazy to write something for it. Plus, there's no spying like on Windows or Mac OS, unless you install it yourself. Okay. So guys, it turns out Linux is like an open world game. Basically a sandbox. You choose what to build, what to destroy, and where to go. And unlike Windows or Mac OS, Linux doesn't force you to install updates or use useless stuff like OneDrive. And the best part? You are the boss of your system, not some corporation. I love that Linux is a whole ecosystem with many different distributions, where anyone can build their own Frankenstein piece by piece. Seriously, everyone can have their own unique Linux that's different from everyone else. Every day the Linux community grows and grows, and as an OS it's becoming more recognized among regular users. And that's something to be happy about. In the end, it's your computer and your rules. And the Linux just gives you the keys to all of it. And you know, the growth of Linux is actually a good thing, because finally big corporations like Microsoft will have to get off their lazy bots and improve their OS. If they don't, sooner or later Linux become more accessible, easier to use, and maybe, just maybe, it will take over the whole market. Well, at least in the wild dreams of a Linux fan. Wakey, 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 it's time for school. Come on. Wake up, it's time for school. Come on, man. Are you ready for school? <laughs>